Today's video is sponsored by LandAirC. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with LandAirC, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirC.com to order your LandAirC GPS unit for your classic vehicle. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. Not just any Roadrunner, this actually has the 383 with the Air Grabber, which is a very cool feature that we're going to explain and show you some of the ins and outs of the car as we go through it. So first of all, looking at the exterior, it's finished in B5 blue with a blue interior, which is a very clean spec if you ask me. One of the cool things about the Roadrunner is the Roadrunner was actually introduced as the entry-level muscle car from Mopar, first introduced in 1968. Obviously, this is a 1970. There's been some facelift changes that vary from the original car. And one of the other cool things about the Roadrunner is while the Roadrunner was the affordable muscle car option, there was actually a other luxurious version called the GTX that was also available. So very similar car. If you ever thought the GTX looks just like the Roadrunner, that's why. Now let's talk about that name, Roadrunner. So obviously there was a very special cartoon that had a coyote and a Roadrunner. And of course, Warner Brothers owned the rights to that. So Plymouth would actually go and pay 50 thousand dollars in 1968 to acquire the rights to use the Roadrunner logos which will go over on this car they're in quite a few different places and fifty thousand dollars in 1968 is worth about half a million dollars in today's money so they paid they paid quite a bit of money just to slap some various stickers logos and names uh, for the rights on these cars but it's pretty cool and I think it adds a lot to the history of the car as well one of the other things they did is if we take a look right here we can actually see a horn and that horn also has some Roadrunner stickers and that is a very infamous feature of all of the Roadrunner cars. Now that horn, uh, which Plymouth engineered for $10,000 back in 1968, sounds just like the honk that you hear in the cartoon. So they spent a lot of time and effort to that, and I think it's really cool. It is kind of a gimmick, obviously, but I think it's a very cool feature that just makes these cars that much more unique. Now let's talk about that really exciting part, the air grabber. So the air grabber sits just under here. This is all of the mechanisms for the air grabber. And underneath that, that's gonna be feeding our 383 cubic inch V8. So this is rated around 335 horsepower and this particular car has the 727 Torque Flight three speed automatic transmission. Now the cool part about the air grabber is you'll notice we actually have a vacuum solenoid here next to the air grabber intake. And so what happens is if we come around to the side of the car, there's actually a switch on the inside of the dash. You hit that switch, it's vacuum operated and this little guy is going to pop up here on the top so when the car is sitting idling normally this switch will not be up and you'll have a complete flat hood that looks just like any other normal roadrunner but if somebody pulled up to you at a stoplight or you were at the drag strip let's say and they didn't know what engine you might have the hood maybe they think you've got something fairly wimpy and then you hit your switch and all of a sudden the air grabber intake pops up well now you've got a race car so a much more intimidating cool logo that just kind of stands out it's one of those things that kind of gimmicky whether it really adds any more horsepower to the engine is pretty negligible I would say it'd help a little bit obviously for forcing more air in there but more of a cool feature and just a lot of cool stickers that goes on to the Roadrunner so moving on we have this cool Roadrunner stripe which starts with the bird at the front and moves down this car is sitting on a set of Magnum 500 wheels but as we move over here to the interior we have this beautiful blue color it's gonna go go ahead and open up the car here now we have our automatic shifter for our 727 torque flight transmission. And then right in the middle is a red switch. And that says air grabber. It's fairly low key. It's not something that you might know about if you're not overly familiar with what the air grabber system is. But if you were the owner or driver of this beautiful 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, you would know and just flick that switch and you'd watch it pop up. So a pretty cool feature, obviously gets a little bit more horsepower and just another really cool thing about this 1970 Roadrunner. As I come around to the back, some more badging, extra bits. And then in the back here, we have a, what appears to be a rally wheel uh, for a spare and along with some cool Roadrunner mats that are included in the sale of this vehicle. And again, our sort of specific 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner rear end, which is a fairly cool car, obviously fairly quick. The 383 air grabber cars were supposed to be able to get down the drag strip somewhere in the neighborhood of around 14 and a half seconds, fairly fast, especially for a budget muscle car. We've seen some other muscle cars that we've taken a look at that are a little bit faster down the drag strip, but at a much 
much more expensive cost. So if you wanted a budget muscle car, you went with the Roadrunner. And of course, the Air Grabber, such a cool little extra feature. Or if you wanted to spend more money and like the body, you bought a GTX. So with that, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys are looking for a collector car for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction with cars going live every single weekday, or our online marketplace, which is classiccars.com, which has over 30,000 cars currently live on the site. If you enjoyed the video, could hit that like button for us. We would really appreciate it. And consider getting subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching.